Saluton, parolas Tomaso. Hi, it's Tomaso, and I want you to be the best Esperanto speaker you can be. Today's topic is the pronunciation of the letter I and some pitfalls that uh, English speakers often fall into when pronouncing that letter and some questions that came in related to that. That's coming up in just one second. If you're new here, welcome. This is the Esperanto Variety Show where we have material in Esperanto and about Esperanto to enrich, educate, and entertain. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. All right. Uh, this is part of a series that I have of pronunciation videos. The first one is how to pronounce the word stzias. I'll go into some detail about that. We also have uh, some material about the uh, so-called diphthongs in Esperanto, the, some of the vowel combinations, so be sure to check out the uh, playlist link above. One thing I notice a lot of with my students, especially uh, native English speakers, um, is that when they pronounce the letter I at the end of a word, it kind of becomes I, right? And so what happens is I can't tell whether, whether they're saying Venice or Venice, right? Whether they're saying Venice or Venice. So it's important always to pronounce that I like the I in machine, even in the unaccented syllables. If you don't do that, somebody might say, Mi ne comprenes. Did he say, Mi ne comprenis? Or did he say, Mi ne comprenas? Right? Mi ne comprenis? I, I didn't understand before, but now I do. Oh, or, Mi ne comprenas? I still don't understand. So the, those vowels, even at the end of a word, are very important. So the question came up um, about the difference between the letter I and the letter J in Esperanto. Um, they are definitely different letters. I is a vowel, J is a consonant. Um, they're historically written the same. Um, they have a dot over them, both of them do in lowercase, and uh, a line on the top, right, because they, they came originally from the same letter. Uh, and the sounds are similar. Similar. I can see why somebody would ask that question. Um, the main difference is, the most obvious difference um, when you're starting out, is that every vowel counts as a syllable. Um, but a J wouldn't count as a syllable. Um, that's the first obvious difference. But there, there are other subtle differences, and I think the best way to approach that is to look at some words. So I'm going to start with iam and yam. So those are two words that are, the only difference is that one's with an I and one's with a J. Iam, sometimes, yam, already. I saw a comment that I thought was interesting. It said at the end of a word, the, the J sounds like an I, and the example they gave was the word tiwi. Um, and I've seen a lot of discussion about this. Um, the question that comes up is whether there's really a difference between tiwi and tiwi. Uh, I'm going to try that again. Tiwi and tiwi. Uh, besides the obvious fact that uh, tiwi is not a real word, the second one's not a real word, um, the, the first one meaning these, plural. Um, and my thought is if you, if you hear a difference, I would love to hear uh, a response video to explaining the difference. But to me, they're similar enough that uh, I'm not going to fuss about, fuss about the difference. I will say, though, that uh, the J at the end of Tiwi is not pronounced like an I, because if it were, we would have this word, which is not a real word in Esperanto, and it would be pronounced Tiwi. In my previous videos, I included a lot of minimal pairs, words that are really exactly the same except for this one letter difference or this one sound difference. Um, I couldn't find a lot for I and J, um, but there are a lot of words that are similar. Uh, so beyond yam and iam, which I, want, which I just mentioned, there are some other words that look similar, especially in the beginning of the word, and let's, let's take a look at some of those. We have soifi and soilo. Soifi, soilo. Uh, soifi means to be thirsty. Soilo is the, uh, the border on the bottom of, a, the, 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 the piece of wood on the bottom of a door or a, a window. So that makes the, the difference between the in, indoors and outdoors. That's the soilo. All right. We have foiro and foino. Foino is straw. And foiro is a fair. Uh, foiro, foino. Then I have troigo, troiano. Troigo, troiano. Um, troigo is an exaggeration. Troigo, 
and Troiano is a person from Troy. Okay, uh, this word came up in one of my searches. Hemorrhoido. Hemorrhoido. It's not hemorrhoido. That would be with a J. It's hemorrhoido. Um, a lot of these words, um, the I comes at the second to last syllable, so it's accented. So it's a lot it's easier to hear that it's an I and not a J. Um, but that's not always the case. If we take a similar uh, a word or a similar sound, a word with a similar sound in it, we have the word asteroido. Asteroido, the I is accented, asteroido. Um, but if we were to have a word like asteroidaro, right, a, a group of asteroid, an asteroid belt, asteroidaro, um, to me, I think there's a difference between asteroidaro and asteroidaro. This next word is a little bit of a stretch, joigi, right, that's causing something to have a G in it. I don't know what you would do that for, but if, let's just say that was a real word that we needed to say for some reason, joigi. Then if we put a J in there, it changes the meaning. It becomes joigi, to fill with joy. Um, this next one is kind of funny. My daughter was looking at my notes and she said, why does it say gaino twice? Uh, it actually doesn't. The first word is gaino and the second one is gaino. Gaino, gaino. I just forgot what gaino means. I think it uh, could be a woman's garment or it could be the wrappings around an electrical cord. Gaino. It's a, it was a new word for me too. Lo bone, tio esas chio por hodia, mi volas danki al lupe, kai la aliai patronoi, kiwi subtenas tion canalon, kai al la personoi kiwi lasta tempe, vidis filmeto in kai venis al aitaki por uh, fari lezioni con mi, mi vere joyas e conivin, do mi vere chatas vien subtenon, do mi povas daure fari tion in lezioneto in por vi, au respondi al viae demandoi, kai tio plu, do refoye dankon por vi pro via subteno, dankon por specti. Ne forget to abonin, ni am havis tiu in mil abonantoin, sed ni bezonas pli, ni bezonas pli respektoj, diru al viaj amikoj pri la kanalo, mi petas, do, a uh, yes, tiu esus bona, kaj se vi ŝatas ĝin, certe ili ŝatus ĝin, kaj bone, gi ĝis la venonta. Un parolata lingvoj en Esperanto kaj subtitoloj en la angla, la hispana kaj Esperanto kaj en la portugala, kaj ĝi estas sena regiona filmeto, a filmu mi diru? Uh, only pause video in the mondo, a documentary on the world's first pilot.